Am I the asshole for not changing my house rules to accommodate my children from a previous relationship? So I, 36 male, have two children, 13 male plus 10 female, from a previous relationship. I have been with my wife, 34 female, for 8 years. We have twin boys, 5 male. We have had my older children religiously the whole time at weekends and during school holidays. As they have gotten older our house rules have differed from when they are at home with my ex. For example bedtime is staggered by age at our house and things like no dessert if they don't eat enough of their tea. With four children it is a busy household and a few rules help with controlling our time and ensuring we can do things as a family. Anyway over the last 12 months when my older children come over they have expressed their dislike for some of our rules mainly the no phones after lunch until after tea. They can have them on them and reply to messages and calls however it's just no sitting on social media. They can go on phones in the morning and after tea if we aren't out doing things. During the day we try and do family activities such as bowling or cinema or bike rides and such or if we stay home it's board games and just interacting as a family. As my older son is getting older me and my wife understand his weekends he likes to be with his friends and we will drop him off to where his friends are and pick him up at a set time, as we live the other end of the city. However now for the last three months they have refused to come to our house due to these rules and my ex asked me to compromise on these rules which I declined, mainly because it's not the most aggressive and archaic of rules. Five six hours of no phones. Plus it will start the spiral for my twins seeing that they can get what they want to if they express enough dislike. I have said the door will always be open for them and I won't be forcefully making them come to our house. So am I the asshole for not relaxing the rules so they come over just to sit on their phones? I don't think it is too harsh but I am also feeling guilty that they don't want to come over anymore. With my ex they are allowed to cut their own routine and that's fine there as it isn't my house and whatever works for them. My wife agrees with our rules which are for all children and backs me 100% but I find myself questioning if I'm doing the right thing or not. Edit the 5 year olds do not have phones and they all don't follow the same exact rules and the older children have their phones. They just can't sit scrolling for 5 hours in the middle of the day when we have made plans and made an effort to do something as a family. It's mainly one day a week too, the other day of the weekend, they are with their friends and have their phones with them and can do as they please with said phones. It's just one day a week for 5 hours. Further info. I don't think I was quite as clear and gave all information. I still see the children every week during the week. They just don't want to stay at the weekends. When they was coming we did one on one activities and stuff without the younger children too. It wasn't a no phone rule but more like a, we have to have some sort of plan over the weekend where we get out of the bedroom and pocket the phone for a while. Even if they wanted to chill with mates that's what they did. Friends came over or they went to a friend's. I've had the discussion with the children and that's how I found out about it just being the phone issue as initially they said it was all rules but it came down to just that one. Plus it's not a set 5 hours every weekend but I just used 5 hours for this as that's the maximum amount of time it could be. Not the asshole I think your motives are pure but if it alienated your children, is this really achieving what you want it to, the space for family time? You are the asshole for the way you talk about them. Doesn't sound like you care if they come over or not. The family time seems to be oriented towards your new wife and kids. Did you even consider asking your older kids what they would like to do, activities, board games, etc.? They may simply be bored with what you get to offer considering that you have to include 5-year-olds in everything you do. Info Why do you think that 13-year-olds and 5-year-olds should have the same rules? And why tf do your 5-year-olds have phones to begin with? If you're trying to keep your older children away, guess what? It's working. Wheel you're working your way out of their life completely so kudos if that was your plan. Am I the asshole for telling my wife we have to rehome her dog before having kids? My wife, 29F, and I, 31F, have been married for 2 years and together for 6 years, living together for most of that time. In 2020, my wife convinced me we should adopt a dog, so we adopted Larry, who is a 10-year-old husky. Larry is a really great dog and was the first dog I ever had, though my wife had several in her life. Larry is calm, sleepy, well-behaved, friendly to kids, and low maintenance, aside from shedding. Roughly six months later, my wife had a cousin pass away. They weren't close, but they had a dog who needed a new home. My wife pushed really hard to convince me, and I reluctantly agreed, so we adopted Bear. Bear is about 5 yo and some mix of things vets have guessed Rottweiler, German Shepherd, and Doberman. 
Bear was a mess when we first adopted him he was not neutered, clearly used to being kept outdoors and poorly socialized. Bear has been a lot of work, to say the least. Because our work schedules, most of the dog care is done by me, which is something we agreed on. He's made a lot of progress, but at this point, I don't know that we can do much more for him. He still requires two hours of walks or at the park running daily. If he doesn't get it, he becomes a ball of chaotic energy like the Tasmanian Devil cartoon. He is constantly getting dirty and needs baths, which he dislikes. He is very territorial about our house and makes it difficult to have friends over. Still, I love him and up until recently, never thought about rehoming. So, here is where the conflict happened. My wife and I always planned to adopt or start fostering children in our early 30s. In a recent discussion about our future, I said I think we would need to rehome Bear if we want to have kids at home. I don't think Bear is going to change much more he is forever going to be high energy, protective, and unpredictable, and I'm not sure about the safety of kids around Bear. She got upset and was arguing that we agreed to adopt him and were supposed to be his forever home. I countered that I love Bear too, and we did our best for him, but I want our full attention to be on our kids when we have them, and Bear makes that impossible. She kept insisting that it would be fine, we would figure it out, we can have everything we want, why can we keep Larry but not Bear, etc. I started to get frustrated and decided to say this, look babe, I don't know what else to say. He needs to be rehomed before kids enter our life. We can take time to do it right, but I just can't see a way we have kids around your dog. Quote dot. She became more much upset and ended the discussion. I believe strongly in part due to me saying, your dog, a term I haven't used before, rather than, our dog, what we always say. She was curt yesterday morning and then she was at work overnight but will be coming home later and we'll talk more. I'm curious. Am I the asshole? Edit. Since folks keep asking. We have worked with two professional trainers, one for a year. That's been a significant reason we've made so much progress. According to them, Bear is, special needs, and unlikely to improve much further in regards to energy, territoriality, etc. You are the asshole just for the, your dog. The two of you together made the decision to take Bear into your home. Whether you did so, reluctantly, or not. Your thinking on the general subject is reasonable and the discussion needs to continue but you've made it a lot harder by making it seem like she and her dog are the problem. And realize, the fostering agency will probably make it clear that the dog is a problem for placement, even if you didn't. Nope, not the asshole. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If she thinks she can figure out how to keep bear while also having kids, then she can sit down now and figure it out. It's reasonable for you to be open to discussing the issue and considering any solutions she offers. It's not reasonable to expect you to agree to jump into the hornet's nest with her and hope you find a way to get back out. In ta, Bear is a bigger, more aggressive bred of dog, who isn't fully trained. It's reasonable, responsible of you to bring attention this before welcoming younger kids into the house because accidents do happen. Am I the asshole for eating salad in front of my girlfriend and then making a joke about it? I, 28M, grew up in a family that put a lot of emphasis on healthy eating. As a kid, we always started dinner with a salad, and I've continued that practice as an adult. I don't take my salad with any dressing, and the only toppings I add are mushrooms and tomatoes. Since I don't put dressing on my salad, I often eat it with my hands since it's easier than trying to spear the dry mixed greens with a fork. I've been eating my salads like this basically since I was a teenager, and it was never an issue, even when having dinner with my parents. My girlfriend, 27F, eats salads occasionally, but doesn't love them the way I do, which is fine. She's currently pregnant, and pretty much all she wants to eat right now is meat and potato type meals, which is also fine. She's had some severe morning sickness in the first trimester and it's been a struggle to find foods that she can consistently keep down. So we'll make something she wants for dinner, and then I will pair it with a side salad for myself so I'm still getting my greens. Lately, I've noticed she's been a little distant during dinner, so I asked her about it. She said that my side salads are unappetizing to her, and she requested I stop eating them in front of her because it makes her nauseous to watch. I told her that everything makes her nauseous right now, and that it's not fair to me that I have to change my lifelong diet because of her pregnancy symptoms. She told me that the issue isn't with the salad. It's the way I, shove it down my throat like a caveman. Apparently that makes her gag and then she doesn't want to finish her own food. 
I told her that I've been eating my side salads like that for over a decade and no one has ever commented on it, so I think she's being overdramatic. I told her that her caveman comment was rude and unnecessary, and that I would continue the conversation with her when she's ready to talk about it in a more reasonable way. She immediately got up and went into the nursery and shut the door behind her. When I walked by later, I could hear her crying, but I didn't go in and say anything because I feel like she should be the one to apologize to me for the crass comments she made about how I eat. She ended up sleeping on the glider in the nursery while I slept in our bed alone. We sat down for breakfast this morning in silence, so I attempted to diffuse the tension by asking if the way I was eating my toast was acceptable or it was also making her nauseous. She immediately started crying again, calling me an asshole and accusing me of not caring about her feelings or how hard the pregnancy has been on her. All I was trying to do was make a joke. And I know pregnancy is hard, but women go through it just fine all the time, so I don't understand why she's making such a big deal about it. So am I the asshole for eating my salads in front of her and then making a joke about it the next morning? I want us to sit down and resolve this when she gets home from work tonight, so I guess if I need to apologize, I will. You are the asshole she won't be pregnant forever but she will remember how you treated her during her pregnancy. You would only be slightly inconvenienced by eating your salad like a savage in another room where it wouldn't bother her. Or just use a fork. You are the asshole. Do you two never go out to eat? You've been in an echo chamber of a family with bad table manners and this might be your first taste of the real world, which, for salad, generally involves cutlery. And if it nauseates your pregnant GF, then maybe you can suck it up and eat in a socially acceptable manner in front of her, or not eat your salad in front of her. I was siding with you at first but your joke was not necessary and very poorly thought out. You say you were trying to defuse the situation but it's coming off more like you were needlessly taking a jab at her. You are the asshole. And use utensils for salad god damn it. IDC if it was never an issue with your family, it's gross. Do you do this in public? I'd honestly feel lucky a potential partner never brought up your bad table manners before having a child with you. You are the asshole, she is pregnant. Eat your salad with your hands after dinner without her there. You come off very entitled in this post and not like a supportive or caring partner that gets how awful pregnancy can be. While she is making a literal human, you can eat your salad in a different room or wath a fork. My god. Use a fork. Am I the asshole for nearly costing my county worker her job after she kept making up rumors about me? For starters I'm going to give everyone a bit of context. I myself am 16M and the county worker I am talking about is 17F and I will her Katie which is not her real name for obvious privacy reasons. As well as being my county worker, I also go the same school as Katie, which just makes this a whole lot worse. Now because I go to quite a small school with not many people, words can spread around fast, and this is exactly what happened. I got a bad haircut that day, and I got to say, I really didn't like it. Obviously Katie noticed and pointed it out to me, even going to the extent of calling me gay. Now I have nothing against gay people or the LGBTQ community, but I myself am not gay. So obviously this was being used as an insult, so I just shrugged it off and continued on with my day. Remember how I said my school was school? Well Katie is quite a popular girl in my school and a lot of the people in my school will listen and do whatever she says. So she started telling Evie one that I was gay. Now I am one that is always one for a good joke, but this went as far as the teachers thinking that I was gay. This isn't also the first time that Katie has speed rumors about me. Because we also work together, she has speed many rumors about me being a bad worker, even though this isn't true, but the manager also believed it for a while and I nearly ended up getting fired because of it. I got sick of the insults, so I just straight up ignored her, and I mean this, not a work was said to her by me. One day while I was working, Katie came up to me in a worry, and told me this. Hey, the manager is mad at me for me spilling milk all over the floor about an hour ago and just then I'm pretty sure that he told me to lift up the roller door for the truck, can you please go and talk to him and see if that's what he said? As you guys may have guessed it, I just ignored her. And because of this, the truck that had a lot of our supplies for the supermarket that I work in, drove back to the warehouse because they thought we were closed, because our roller door was closed and no other doors out the back were open. The manager yelled at Katie and nearly fired her because of this. After my shift had ended, Katie came up to me and started yelling at me telling me things like, why didn't you tell the manager like I told you too, you almost got me fired. Well, I just ignored her and walked home. 
This was about two weeks ago and now all I do is make small remarks about her whenever she walks past just to make her feel bad. Otherwise I don't speak to her. A lot of her friends came up to me telling me that I was the biggest jerk and I should have told the manager, and apparently she has become depressed after this incident. So I came on Reddit to just ask everyone a simple question. Am I the asshole in this situation? I didn't retaliate when she was calling me all of these names. I just ignored her. I don't think I am an asshole, but I also could be because what I did nearly cost her, her own job. Not the asshole. She made the mess. The boss told her to lift the door. If she wasn't sure what he wanted her to do, it was up to her to talk to the manager and clarify, not involve op or any other third party. She is responsible for the extra problem that she caused by not doing her job. Op is in no way responsible for doing the work she was assigned to do. The fact that she lied about him does not give her the right to hand her assigned tasks off to op. Not the asshole, she is mean but plays the victim when other be mean to her. You didn't almost get her fired. She almost got herself fired and then blamed you. She is a bully. Further, ignoring a bully instead of retaliating is tantamount to taking the high road. You were in the right to handle it the way you did. Not the asshole. Nah, not the asshole in my opinion ignoring her is the most mature thing you could have done. It's insane how she thought she could tell you to do something after doing all that LMAO. Not the asshole. You should tell people at school she's calling you gay because she asked you out at work and you turned her down. As for the ignoring her, if it works it works why stop now.